Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. And what we have here is the very first ever BAM box, uh, horror box fire sale. So uh, they've done this with the original box and before they even have a differentiation between original and horror, they had been doing it where, you know, they have a bunch of extra stuff laying around. So they make a much larger box for a decent price. I think it's around like $25, $30, something like that. And then you could just buy it and get all these extra things. Perfect for people who don't actually subscribe to the box, or uh, yeah, subscribe to the boxes, but want to get some of these items. Uh, more of a gamble for people who actually get the box. And for me personally, with the horror one, I've gotten every single horror box since I've, well, since it's been around. So more of a gamble for me. I'm just hoping that I get a few things that I have not already gotten in, in here. But uh, they kind of make that the, the case unless you've gotten every, every, everything and traded for it and stuff like that. Uh, because they put 13 items in here and they promise that some of them be like rarer and there's always going to be I think like one or two items from some of the expansion uh, things that they've done out there. So um, should be good. Like I said, 13 items in here, very first of the BAM Horror Fire Sale. And this one sold out really fast. I think it was less than a day that it was up and it sold out. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, one thing that I am really looking for in this, <clears throat> the Sasuke Twins uh, autograph that had happened in one of the boxes, which I really liked. Uh, I got, I didn't get the variant signed print. Uh, I wanted the variant of them like covered in blood just because I think, you know, it looks really cool. So I'm hoping to get that in here, but, you know, probability says I won't, but that's fine. So just hoping to get a few things that I don't already have. Tissue paper for my cat. Should be excited. All right, first thing. Oh, and this is the other thing. There are proper replicas in there. You know, I'm not huge on the prop replicas. They have had a few good ones that I've been okay with, but by and large, not a big fan. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yep, probably one of my least favorite prop replicas right off the bat. I assume they probably have a lot of these left over. Um, it's, if people haven't seen it, it's from Fright Night. It's just like a fake rosary and a wooden cross from the Fright Night movie. Great movie. Love Fright Night. Love Fright Night. I already have one of these. Didn't want it in the first place because I don't really like it. But, okay. Oh, another one of the worst ever. Uh, actually, this isn't the worst. The worst was the button, which I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, Drag Me to Hell button is in here. But this was from... Crap, I forget what a darkness with like Kevin Bacon. It's just like a polished rock with a symbol. This was a bad one too. I figured, yep, they have that. And then another prop. This is darkness. Oh, okay. So the, the rock was for whatever reason not in its thing. So this was from darkness. It was the replica rock. Okay. Oh, snap. For real? Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know this would be in there. So, um, Bianca Thompson had done some, like, special BAM um, cards where she, like, literally did the artwork individually for each of the cards, and each one was one out of one, like, totally unique. So, I got another one of those. I didn't see that coming. That's really cool, actually. Um, this one's good, too. It's a werewolf. I like that. That one's good. Uh, the other one I had gotten was, um, I believe, who was it? Like Ichabod Crane or something? No, it was a Headless Horseman. I think like his head was missing, but he had a pumpkin next to him. I think that's the one I got. Uh, but that looks good, man. As you can see, Bianca put her name on the back. That's cool. I had no idea what these were going to be in there. I had assumed that they had given all those out in boxes. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's go with the pins next. Damn, I already have this pin. Uh, that's fine. It's a really cool pin, though, and I can either give it to someone or I can decide to just keep it because it's a really cool pin. Um, this is the one, one of the masks melting from Halloween 3. It is a good pin. I like that pin. I just wish I would have gotten one of the other two. Next pin, I don't have this pin. Oh, and this one's um, at one of the out of 200s. It's Shredder. Which... This doesn't make sense, because this is BAM Horror Fire Sale. It should be from the horror stuff. 
This is not horror. This was from the original, so that's kind of a mess up. It's Shredder. It, although it does look cool. What number did I get out of 200? Come on. I can get the thing off the back so I can see. By Nick Kokoza. Number 40 out of 200. Not bad. Okay, I mean, like, that's cool, but like I just said, this is supposed to be a horror fire sale. Not horror. So that's kind of weird. Uh, another one. Once again, not horror. Uh, out of 150, it's from Space Jam. Okay, now I think this is not cool. Um, I mean, it looks good. It looks very good. But this, for, this one's from was from an expansion. Out of 150... I mean, it's fine, it looks good, but like I said, this is a horror fire sale box. It should be horror stuff. So, I don't agree with this. This is stupid to me. Number 41 out of 150. So, I really hope that the art prints and the autographs aren't from the regular box, too, because that would really tick me off. Are you kidding me? Another one? Another one. Of the same thing? Alright. That's garbage. Uh, this is cool. I already have this one. Very cool. I already have that S-Mart badge. Ash Williams from um, Army of Darkness. Very cool. Yeah. Alright. Now this stuff at the bottom better be horror related. But those three pins not actually being horror. I think that's messed up. And you shouldn't do that. Uh, right? Yep, I figured they probably have more of these. Uh, the, the crazy babysitter twins from, uh, Planet Terror. Um, is this a different one than what I have? Actually, I think, I think I have a different one of these. I may not have this version signed. I think it may have been another version. This is a good version. Um, so that might be a little bit of kind of like an upgrade for me on that one. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Let's see if I can move that. Uh, autograph PJ Souls um, in Halloween. I already have this one, this exact one, but that one's good. I mean, people who don't know, PJ Souls, she is on the convention circuit a lot, so her autograph's not hard at all to get, but it's a good autograph. I mean, she's been in some good stuff. She was in Halloween, she was in um, Carrie, you know, so that's a good one. Um, art print. This, okay, I'm totally good with having this one. Did I? Hmm, I think I have the normal version of this, and this one's the variant, which makes me very, very, very happy. This is my favorite. Love, love, love Sam from Trick or Treat. So the normal one does not have the candy corn tones of coloration on his lollipop. So I believe I have the regular one, and this is one of the special ones. This is number 22 out of 250. You can see down there. Uh, once again, shout out to Steve McGinnis because this artwork is outstanding. This makes me very happy. Having both of these, that's nice. Uh, getting down there. Uh -huh. Pennywise. Oh, I, I have this one. I have this exact one. And this is by James Bozma. Um, this is an awesome one. This is a good one to have an extra of in case I want to put somewhere else in my house, I want to give it to a friend, whatever. Looks outstanding. Can't complain with that. And the last thing, uh, it's by Steve Jenks. It is well done. It's Insidious. I just don't like Insidious. Uh, and I got number 882 out of 1500. I don't remember if I got this variation. I think I got the one that was, like, this is kind of like just a few tones. I think I got one that was kind of like gray and blue tones. So it's different. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be a stickler. I'm going to count these items up because they said it's supposed to be 13. It's two, four, five of these. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Well, they lived up to that. They did do 13. Um, some big wins for this. This. Very, very cool. I like that because this is a one out of one. Very, very rare, obviously. That's really cool. I like it. Um, I like this pin, even though I already have it. It's a really good pin. I'm down with it. The props, uh, except for this one. It's always fun to have another one of these. These are cool. 
um, but the props, whatever, you just know I'm not big on the props, but the fact that we got these, which are not horror at all, I mean, I know they're rarer, and this is cool in particular, it's a horror box, so there should have been three more horror pins in there, in my opinion. Um, also, like, this print's really cool. This autograph's good. This is fine. Um, this is a good print, but I just don't like Insidious. And this is probably, um, maybe the best thing in there. Very, very cool. So, uh, still glad I got it. I wanted to see what was in there, but people, feel free to leave your comments below about your feelings about this particular box, or if you ended up getting one of the fire sale boxes, the horror or the original, uh, let me know what you got in yours, what you're excited about, what you weren't excited about, and we can just kind of talk that through. Also, how do you feel about the fact that they put a few things that are not horror in the horror fire, fire sale box? Are you cool with that? Are you just like, yeah, I mean, it's whatever, because the majority of it was horror, and it was. I mean, three of the items were not horror out of 13, so good percentage of horror to non-horror, but for me, I just think that when I'm purchasing something that says it's a horror fire sale box, I want all the items to be horror related. So for me, that's a letdown, but I got enough good stuff in here that I'm glad I got it. So um, anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Uh, let's start some comments down below. Give me some likes, subscriptions, all that stuff. And uh, cool. But until next time, keep it brutal.